Before the concert, Daryl Chesser was able to ask Dottie Rambo the story behind this musical and how she came to write the inspirational song, We Shall Behold Him. Daryl, really, I, I guess I was talking about the coming of Jesus. Of course I was, but I also, I guess, a little tired of um, folks nowadays drawing so much attention to ourselves. You see, uh, you take, like, I'm a songwriter and a singer and performer, you know, uh, ministers are performers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And David can tell you, too, David Clydesdale here, that it's easy to draw attention to ourselves. We think we've written something neat or we've sung something so neat. Behold Him is also behold Him while we're singing and not Ex the performer. Exactly, to behold Him while we're singing and also for people to behold Him in us as yeah. we perform. See? So I was saying, Lord, you, you, know, you really get glory out of this one song. I mean, more than you ever had before. And as, as the Lord started just pointing it through me, he also allowed me to know there was going to be a little girl that was going to present it with a lot of with style. With a quiet voice. <laughs> yes. Soft and voice, yeah. That was, I guess, the, one of the most exciting things, to see a child taken like that and dressed wow. up, my baby dressed mm -hmm. up as only Sandy Patty can do, and present it with all the splendor of, you know, you might say in lace and satin oh. and ribbons and silks, you know. And it's a thrill to see the Lord using the songs. He gave it to me to give away, and man, it's been marvelous to give it through Sandy Patty yeah. and uh, folks like David uh, Clydesdale has taken We Shall Behold Him and made, I think, a marvelous musical arranging with voices and uh, so what are, who are some of the folks on the album, David? Well, the albums, um, Sandy, we allowed her to sing Good. the title <laughs> song again, and then Doug Oldham, an unheard of name such as Doug Oldham. Oh, yes. And then Larnell Harris and Celeste Clydesdale are the singers on the album. Then we used a festival orchestra and chorus. We used London Symphony on it, and Wonderful. we used Truth and a children's choir. So it had a cast of thousands. Back to the Cecil B. DeMille days. How did you come up with the concept for this? Did you just sit down and decide to do songs? Or? Well, the problem with Dottie, she has so many songs. And um, when you have hundreds and hundreds of songs to choose from, a musical can contain 10 to 15, unless you want to stay for three weeks. <laughs> so we had to, obviously, we were dealing with the life of Christ in the musical. It's not really an Easter work, because anything no. dealing with the life of Christ in that week is usable. And especially with We Shall Be Holding, heading towards the future even right, what when he right, comes exactly. again as our Lord of Lords. And it's developing it was to just find those finest, finest songs that she had and weave them into the musical that way and then develop it to be usable. Because as good as songs are, if it's not usable, um, it. we did it for the three choirs. You know, and you said you liked it, that it was for three choirs. Well, see, what they did that uh, I haven't heard done well in a lot of... Uh, cases they did children on the album and they did uh, like a youth choir mm -hmm. and the adult choir and um, I, I think to me it, that made it more interesting because it gave a large church that had a choice of good singers and kids and you know that don't always get to perform I think that that I remember great. doing a musical last Easter at the Opry House in Nashville and the youth choir and the kids choir were not a part of it and I remember I was singing and thinking boy next year next year we're gonna get them all up here because they all want to sing and they want to be a part of it so exactly. I tried to develop it that way yeah, it was did cool. you ever dream that your songs would be used in this fashion to form a musical cantato about the life of Jesus, telling about Jesus? No, Daryl, really, this has been in, like, birthing for almost two years. It's, it's gone everywhere from the name The Lamb to I, a lot of different names. It wasn't the right time. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I was a kid uh, starting to write for Governor Jimmy Davis, I never dreamed that this would happen like this today. What's great today is that you can take uh, We Shall Behold Him, you can make it uh, a very country song, yeah. or you can make it a very sacred, polished opera yeah. song, you can make it black soul music. It didn't work in disco, did it? No, I don't no it didn't work that way. We tried it, but it didn't work. <laughs> David would. <laughs> it's, um, that's what's exciting. I never dreamed it would ever happen to my music, but what is great, there's so many styles in this, and the world is receiving it, and uh, even folks that aren't Christians are excited about it. And for me, a little Tennessee, Kentucky girl, to see a, a man like David Clydesdale and Christian television all over the world to accept his writing in my music, and we're premiering all over the world, the musical. Uh, I'm singing in some of them, mm -hmm. but and then special choirs are doing others. Yeah. Why the title, We Shall Behold Him? Out of all the songs, like you said, it was The Lamb at one time. Why Mr. did we Bob decide McKenzie, that? Mr. Bob McKenzie, I think. The president uh, of Benson the Company. The president of the Benson Company. Shows it. I think there are many reasons. It's the closing thought. If you walk away from the musical, you remember We Shall Behold Him. Right. Also, We Shall Behold Him, and I don't mean this at all in a commercial way, was, was voted Song of the Year for oh, the Dove Awards, and Dottie was voted Writer of the Year, 
and Sandy was voted Singer of the Year. So with that combination, I think it was good to call it We Shall Behold Him. I think you? it I was. Think we had to use that. Well, that and, we, and very, very cleverly, you've followed through on the theme of it. See, if it just been We Shall Behold Him, Daryl, it would be just all words of music thrown together in a bunch for a uh -huh. choir. But the theme was carried all yeah. the way through, We Shall Behold Him, which excited me. I actually sat down in my living room the first time I heard it and didn't want anybody to see me. I knew I was going to cry, and I wept. <laughs> I wept. You didn't he, tell me that. I did. <laughs> David and Mr. McKenzie came to my ranch yeah. the first time and read through the musical and he Bob played sang the all piano. the boys' parts Bob did and all I tried the to play everything. Choreography <laughs> and everything in the did. children's choir. And you made cherry pie. I made cherry I know, pie. We did. I'm sorry I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> Next one we'll invite Next you. Next time. Yeah. So where do you want this to go? What's the highest honor you feel that can be bestowed upon this? Boy, I when I in my arranging, I like it to be usable. But I think as a vehicle a beautiful vehicle to touch lives. To me, if it doesn't touch the man in the third row, you know who he is. He works at a service station, and exactly. his brother's, brother's cousin's aunt is in the choir. Mm -hmm. That's why he's there. Mm -hmm. And we just can't do something slick. That me, it, it has to touch. That's true. And when we step it back, that's where I, I love working with my boss, Bob McKenzie, because he's the only one in this world anymore that says, that's awful. Throw he's, it out and start again. Pro. I'm not moved. The man is a pro. And I think it is to touch mm -hmm. lives and to move them. If people walk away and are not reacting, and have not felt anything, then I failed. They're we empty. both failed. That's right. you know, I'm sorry to say that, but we both failed. We have to happens. have just enough of vanilla ice cream in there that they can sing some of it when they get yeah. home, and just enough of Metropolitan they can feel like it's a challenge to yeah. those that are singing it. Well, David Clydesdale, Daryl, and Dottie Rambo, thank you for being Bless with you, us. Thank you, Daryl. I love you. And we're looking forward to hearing it all over the country. And thank I know you. it's exciting. I've heard it on tape, and I'm looking forward to seeing it live myself. Thank you. Thank God you. Bless you. Bye -bye. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations. And his glory, his glory is above the heavens. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth.
cross upon which Jesus Christ was crucified has cast a long shadow down through history. It reaches all the way from the barren Jerusalem hill called Golgotha nearly 2,000 years ago, right into the center of our lives today. The cross is an ancient instrument of torture and death and despair. But for the last 19 centuries, it's become for millions of men and women and children just like us, the joyous symbol of freedom, of hope, life, real life, life for now and forever. Father, most gracious God, we praise you today for the greatness and for your amazing love demonstrated to us through the sacrifice of your son on that old Roman cross. We've come together to celebrate that love and to rejoice in the knowledge that the plan you set in motion at Calvary has reached through history to touch our lives today. What an exciting day that must have been in Jerusalem. The dark tragedy of Golgotha, still a few days away. But today, today was a time for hosannas. Jesus was coming. Jesus, that amazing miracle worker from Galilee. Jesus, coming here. Hosanna. They, they crowned those narrow streets and they shouted their welcomes. Hosanna. Hosanna to the king. Make way, make way for Jesus. All over town, they were talking about him. Everywhere you went, the name of Jesus was on the lips of every man, woman, and child. He was just a small town carpenter, but they, they called him prophet, teacher, rabbi. Some said he could heal, that he made a blind man see and a crippled man walk. And they told how he calmed stormy seas. They even said that he made a, a dead man live again. Somewhere, sure that this was, some said that this was the Messiah, the Redeemer promised by God.
the one who would free Israel. But others said it was all just crazy nonsense. He was simply another fake, like all those other false prophets. Who was this man? Who was this man called Jesus? Jesus was the talk of the town in Jerusalem that day, and people everywhere have been talking about him ever since. Philosophers and theologians talk about what Jesus said. Scientists talk about what Jesus knew. Lawyers and historians the world over for centuries have debated where Jesus went, what he did, and especially why. Today, Jesus is still the talk of the town. I don't really pretend to know all about the science, the history, the law, but what I do know is that one day Jesus Christ came into my life. He introduced me to God's love, and my life has never been the same.
I call him Lord even today. Throughout the centuries, he's looked beyond man's frustrations, his failures, his faults, to see man's real need. My need he met through Calvary. Oh, I wasn't there. And yet, Calvary is as real to me as if I were. I call him Lord because now I know the price he paid to set me free forever. Amazing grace.
Despised by the world has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear it to toil. Taketh away the sin. Exalt above the heaven. Let thy glory be over all.
the astonishing wonder of the Christian experience is that this great God of the universe, this mighty sovereign Lord, this creator all that is, who deserves all praise and all honor, has made himself available to us. How amazing. This is what Paul means when he says, now we can come fearlessly right into God's presence, assured of him, assured of his glad welcome when we come with Christ and trust in him. And when I think of the wisdom and scope of his plan, I'm brought to my knees. And I pray that Christ will be more and more at home in our lives, in our hearts, living within, our, living within us. We trust in him. May our roots grow down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love. And may we be able to feel and understand how long, how wide, how deep his love really is. the weeping of my heart subsides. What a comfort just to know I can speak his name.
to fade. 